All right, let me ask you some more rapid fires. Yes. Um, so I see you have LED and metal halide. What do you prefer? Uh, you missed one. What, what else? What are the, T5s? T5s, T5, yes. T5, yes. yes. Um, I'm an old school guy. You cannot ever get me away from metal halides and T5s because you cannot. I don't care what the company tells you. They are blowing smoke up your butt. You can't get a full spectrum out of metal halide unless you have UV and infrared. You might be able to get everything in between there, but there's no manufacturer of any LED for your aquarium that is getting UV, true UV. That is actually enough to penetrate past an inch or two from the light itself. Yeah, let me correct you on one thing, because you said you can't get that from metal halide, but you meant LED. Let's start that all over again. <laughs> so, um, because I'm an old school reefer, I like the true spectrum, the full spectrum. You know, I can't use the sun, so I use the metal halides because I get a full spectrum. I get UV, I get infrared, I get everything in between. And depending on the Kelvin spectrum, depends on how intense the wavelengths are and where we're targeting. 20K, 10K, 65K. You want to grow your coral, 65. You want to blue them up or color them up better, 20K. Um, they give you what I think is 100% necessary because we aren't getting, you know, we're trying to duplicate the ocean, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to duplicate nature. Well, nature's not all blue. Nature's not all partic one particular wavelength. When you get down to depth, yes, you're filtering out a lot of the lower, lower wavelengths. You're filtering out the infrared, the oranges, the reds, the blues, the yellows. And the deeper you go, you got greens and blues, purples, violets, and, ultra, and UV. So UV and all those are going to be your main light sources for corals that live deep. So why would you not want UV coming through and penetrating your water column? Because obviously, you know, you take away the UV from your corals. What effect does it have on your corals?